Hi guys! Welcome back to Anime Appraisal! Jean here, and I'm here to bring you another anime review. Yes, I know. Finally. Now the anime that we're going to be reviewing today is called Fuka. Now Fuka is a 12 episode anime series that just finished sharing in Japan a couple weeks ago. Now the genre, it consists of music, drama, and romance. And coincidentally enough, I'm excited that I'm reviewing this because it is the sequel to Suzuka, which I reviewed about six years ago. So if you guys want to check that out, you can go watch my review of Suzuka and then come back and watch Fuka, or you can just watch this review because it really doesn't matter. Before I get into the review, I wanted to give you guys a little breakdown of how this review is going to work. Now, about a month ago, I made a impression on Fuka when it was about six episodes in the series. So about halfway through, I did a overview of how I felt about the series. So what I wanted to do for you guys is bring the Jean from the past back in, and you can see what her thoughts and her reactions to Fuka was about halfway through the series. And then I'm gonna come back in and I'm gonna tell you guys how I feel about it now. Was I right? Was I wrong? I thought this would be a really cool experiment because I had the footage and I coincidentally watched Fuka without knowing that it was Suzuka's daughter. So I thought this would be a great thing to see. You see two different elements. You see like the gene of the past and the gene of the now. And it's cool and I'm bringing it to you now. Now Fuka is your typical high school girl with blue hair, very energetic inspiring, somewhat soon daddy soon soon, just a little bit, maybe just a little. And then you have you, which is actually our main character, the protagonist, who is a very shy, quiet introvert, who is always on his phone on Twitter. One day, you and Akitsuki, Fuka, happen to meet. Of course, panty shots were shown and beatings were thrown around, but the series kind of carried on on how Fuka and you kept coincidentally bumping into each other and then they kind of got to know each other. You kind of found out that Fuka is really good at track, I guess like her mother Suzuka, and she didn't want to join track, she wanted to do music, she wanted to start music. And she is totally inspired by the hedgehogs and this new famous singer called Koyuki Hinashi? I don't know, we're just gonna say Koyuki for now because I know her name is Koyuki for sure. But anyway, it so happens to find out, as my cat's walking by, that you was childhood friends with Koyuki and oh no, I'm sorry this isn't really a spoiler but it's so obvious that they both liked each other when they were kids. Now, the series kind of plays on as Fuka finally persuading you and this other boy named Makoto, which the only thing you really know about him is that he's blonde, beautiful, and that he's gay. You really don't know anything else about him. But she decided that they all should start a band. So they all go away to a beach house where they coincidentally bump into the famous members of Hedgehog. Oh my god, crazy, right? And then, da da da, -da Fuka finds out that Koyuki and you are friends! And then she gets mad because she loves Koyuki and he never told her because he's an introvert didn't want to tell her. But anyway, the series kind of plays out basically with Fuka, you, Makoto starting a band. And let me tell you this, they're all completely new at it. Completely new, they don't even know how to play instruments. But it seems like this series, everything's kind of just given to them, almost like a lucid dream. So it's like all these members of Hedgehogs hook them up with instruments, lessons, a studio. They happen to be like spectacular at the first time they even played instruments. And I'm just like, okay, this is just too good to be true. So it's sad, but I would say overall, it just feels like the series is very mediocre, very shallow. The script writing, it's like in all the airtime, most of it is just like, or like the supporting airtime. It's like, oh, so what do you want to name our band? Oh, so what instrument do you want to play? It's just like stupid small talk, nothing to really put the story together, nothing to really build any progression for any of these characters or to, to really show how this band is going to like play out. All of a sudden it's just like, oh, we don't need practice. We're just so freaking awesome the way they are. And it just feels really unbelievable to me. So I would say like halfway through the series, I'm kind of saying this series is kind of like 
meh. It's just meh. It's not really exploding to me like, oh, this is awesome. There's not a lot of intricate things going on at once. To be honest, there's just this obvious love triangle that you doesn't see because that's just how most introvert introverted characters are. They just don't see what's going on. And music is really just like the supporting background of the show. So I don't know how I feel about it, but I'm gonna keep watching it only because I do wanna see if they will try to add the intricate parts of how they struggle in their band. Because shouldn't there be some kind of struggle in any series? Don't you need a climax somewhere? Like the art style, I like it, it's cute. The music, it's good, but like, you know, it's kind of off sync when they do their one performance with the one song that's the opening theme. So it just kind of feels meh. So I'm just hoping that with the six episodes they have left, they can kind of mend it together where it would at least be nice to approach a second season if they're going to do one. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed your trip back in the past and now we are back in the now. So. Now that Fuka has ended, I have to ask myself, did the latter half do what I had hoped? And yeah, it did. They were able to, in six episodes, add the climax to the triangle while it breaks up the band Fallen Moon shortly after they finally wrote their own song. But luckily for Fallen Moon, a second song is written by you titled Fair Wind, which brings the band back together. Yu's inner struggles and introvert lifestyle begin to fade, and he also finds his passion in music, and everyone lives happily ever after. Besides giving a decent setup for another season and adapting more variety in this rock band towards the latter half, I must say, it does not justify for the big slag of nothing but a second-rate, musically-involved fairy tale that Fuka came out to be. I mean... Everything happened in their favor, and the characters only prove that more because the only characters in this show that really have any in-depth or any progression, if even just a little, would be the main characters, which would be Fuka and Yu, and Koyuki, which is sad because I felt like Koyuki was the most mature and most fitting for her role in this series. She was the only one that got it right. Everybody else, I would just say, was a failure. And it's such a disappointment because so many characters are introduced in this series. I mean, we have the band members from Hedgehogs, which a little backstory was given to, nor anything accomplished from them except in the last episode. And that goes the same for The Fallen Moon, which reminds me, the characters, the ones that should have had a lot more in depth and not been so unsupporting. Why don't we just talk about them a little bit? So we have Nachi, who was an X track player who decided to become a drummer for the band. And then we have Makoto, who's the tall, blonde, and charming homosexual who plays the keyboard. And then we have Sarah, who is a professional guitarist who is also the younger sister of Hanashi, who is the guitarist of the Hedgehogs. Now these characters, even though they are so engrossed into the series and they have so much screen time, they are barely involved, nor do they seem to bring emotion or depth into the series at all. It's just disappointing to throw so many characters at somebody that gets no justice or substance added to the series. Besides the characters laying a very flat line for that field for me, I guess I'll talk about the animation. The animation studio, Dio Media, does not have much experience under its belt, besides maybe the spin-off of Barakamon named Hanana kun Although, I can't really complain, Dio Media carried out nice aesthetics that are comparable to a lot of studios within the last decade. They did not have much to entertain us with, besides the opening theme or when Fallen Moon and Koyuki really were rocking out on stage, which was boring with a repeat of one song until way later in the series. Okay, final thoughts. Yes, I have compiled them all together inside my head. Now, Fuka was a disappointment. Honestly, 
I might have liked Fuka a little bit more than Suzuka, especially because I like Suzuka in Fuka more than her own anime. But that's besides the point. Fuka in itself was a show that had a lot of potential, but gave us no substance. It had so much that it could do with the script, especially with the music element that it had, but it failed to do that. The characters, like I've said, seem very, very shallow. And not only just that, but I don't know. I just feel bad because I went into this anime and I just finished Your Lie in April, so I'm expecting another Your Lie in April or like a Beck. But let me tell you right now, you're not gonna get that. So if you have higher expectations or expectations similar to Beck or Your Lie in April, don't watch this anime. Now, what I would have to say is if you've seen Uda no Prinsama Magi 3000, or is it Magi 1000? Or if you've seen Nana or White Album 2, Fuka will be right just for you. Honestly, if you're into romance shows, you're into love triangles, you like harem overtones, this anime you might find enjoyable and it's streamable on Crunchyroll, so you can go watch it on Crunchyroll, and it's only going to waste six hours of your life if you decided that you didn't like it. But again, I would just like to say that no matter what, I just wanted to show the good and the bad of the show. I know the show was dropped by a lot of people, and I kind of thought it was really dumb also, and I was pretty close to dropping it, but I want to see the good in things. and. For me, I just don't want to say it's a horrible show because they did try and they did put effort into it and you never know. There are some people that like shows like this. But with that, I'm going to leave you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Please down below, leave your comments in the comment section below. I read all of your comments. I will take all of your suggestions and your criticisms to heart. And I hope you enjoyed this review. I must go for now, so I'll see you all next time. Bye!